Hello everyone, today is day 2 in Chiang Mai and let's get ready with me. Starting off, I'm using this Acne brand for my face wash. I've used using this for such a long time and this is my lifesaver for acne prone skin. Next, I'm using this simple soothing facial toner. I like to flip my toner pad and then use the other half of my face. I'm also using this on my neck. As you can see, I have neck wrinkles and the necklines are genetic to me, so I can't get rid of it. So I'm using this anti-aging serum in my neck. At first, I bought this for my face, but unfortunately, it doesn't go well with my face. So I'm only using it in my neck for now. This is my moisturizer step and I'm using this Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Balancing Emulsion. This one was recommended by the Sephora staff and this works really well on my skin so I'm using this and I like this very much. Next, I'm using this Vaseline as a lip balm because my lips are very dry and I have to apply it every now and then. So I end up buying a big size, obviously. Next, I'm using a primer and as a UV protector. This is a Chemate Mermaid Skin Gel. It has an SPF 50. What I like about this product is that it serves as a primer and also serves as a sun protector. But sadly, in my oily skin, it doesn't hold makeup for so long. Did you notice? I'm also applying this on my neck to serve as a sun protector. Next, I'm using this foundation cream. It's a collagen foundation from Eco. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this one is from a Korean brand. I'm also using this on my neck. To match with my face color then I'm setting my foundation with this threshold beauty powder this is the translucent powder and it has an SPF 26 plus this is also from the Ganebo brand and then for brows I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow, dip brow pomade in soft brown this brush I bought from Wesson. It's a Thailand brand, Oddbor. I'm not sure how to pronounce this one, but it works really well when I travel. When I draw my eyebrows, I like to do it in a fine line, one fine line, and then I like to fill in in an opposite direction. Then of course, I brush it off on the tip of the nose, which would soften the look. I'm doing the same on the other one but this one I have to fill in the area there because there's a gap area in my eyebrows so I have to fill in more in this area For 
for eyeshadow, I'm using this BH Cosmetic Palette and this contains some blushes and contour also that's why I like to take it when I travel I'm just using the light color to fill all the eyelids and then I'm gonna use a deco shade to fill in the dab Did you notice I've been lost? Staying up to the break of dawn, hoping that you'll show a little warm, but you know I feel. Next, I'm gonna combine this white color and pink color to my middle lids to make it look pop. And then lastly to my innermost corner, I'm adding then sparkles, pearls combined into this. Then I'm gonna contour my nose and my cheeks using this brown contour. These are just my contour brushes and my highlight and blusher brushes. I'm using the contour to my jaw bones and to my chin area. I'm using this pink shade for blush. I have no idea why, but when I do blushes, like pink blushes to my face, I think it would look, it would make me look younger. That's why I like to do it every now and then these days. This is my Rouge Dior in 787 Extuberant I'm sorry Extuberant Matte I don't know how to pronounce it but this one is my most favorite of all in my Dior lipstick so I always use this I feel like whenever I use it it just brightens my face I'm using an applicator here because as you can see my lipsticks it's too little now Just by doing a one coat, it just brightened my whole look. That's why I like this one. Next, I'm using this eyeliner from the face shop. This is a brown eyeliner. That you put me through the wrinkle when you said that you need to solace that I can't offer you. I found the light and all this something. I have a hooded lid, so I have to take a good time to let it dry before I can open it up. Last but not least, this is my eyelash mascara from Hourglass. Cushion Extreme Lash Mascara. This one, I really like it because it stays on my face really well, even though when I sweat a lot. I'm using my Revlon mascara color even though it's big I've get used to it so I'm adjusting this 
for you I found the light and all this something to get me through now every day I forgot to bring my hairbrush so I bought this one from 7-eleven and luckily it works well so finally I am done with my makeup and hair and now I have changed and this is in H&M this is also from my previous haul both top and bottom are from H&M so that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!